Today on our 2017 Chevrolet Cruze, we're going to be installing draw tights, class one, one and a quarter inch trailer hitch, part number 24951. This is what our hitch is going to look like when it's installed. As you can see, the cross beam is going to be hidden completely behind the bumper, so you're just going to be able to see the receiving tube and safety chain loop sticking out the back here. It's going to be a class one, one and a quarter by one and a quarter inch receiver, so it's going to be great for bike racks and cargo carriers. It's going to use a half inch hitch pin and clip. Now one doesn't come included with your hitch, but you can pick one up here at eTrailer.com with part number PC2. It uses loop style safety chain loops. It's going to give you a large opening that will accommodate just about every size safety chain. It features a 200 pound tongue weight. That's the force going down on top of the receiver and a 2000 pound gross towing capacity. That's how much it can pull behind it. Now you do want to make sure that you check your vehicle's owner's manual to ensure you're not exceeding its towing capacities. Now I've got some measurements for you to help you when deciding on accessories. From the ground to the top inside edge of the receiving tube, it measures about nine and a quarter inch. This is important when determining if you need a rise or raised shank on any of your accessories. And since it is so low, I would recommend a raised shank. And from the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the rear bumper, it's gonna measure about six inches. This is important when determining if any of your folding accessories can be placed in the upright storage position without contacting the bumper. We'll begin our installation underneath the vehicle by removing all of the seven millimeter head bolts that run across the bottom of the fascia. There'll be a total of four along the bottom. We'll then remove the three Torx bolts located in our inner fender well using a T15 Torx socket. Then peel back your fender liner and remove the bolt located here with the seven millimeter socket. You'll repeat this same process on the other side. We'll now remove our taillight assemblies, use a flat bladed screwdriver to pop off the caps that reveal the bolts, and you'll do this on both sides. We'll then remove two screws on each taillight with the T15 Torx socket. We'll then use a trim panel remover tool to help pry our headlight towards the rear of the vehicle. Once you've got it released, We'll want to disconnect the electrical connector here. There's a red locking tab that you'll need to push away from the connector. We we'll use a flat bladed screwdriver to push that tab. Once you've got your tab released, use your flat bladed screwdriver to pry up on the release tab on the opposite side and pull the connector off. We'll now start at one edge and work our fascia off. Then we'll go over to our other side. We're gonna do the same process. Again, you can use a screwdriver or you can press down to release that there. Then we'll need to remove our license plate. Your bolts may vary. We're gonna use a 10 millimeter socket for the one that's in ours. There's two bolts located behind that we'll need to remove with a seven millimeter socket. This way we've got both of our sides released with the middle holding it up so we can easily remove the fascia by ourselves without the need of an assistant. We're gonna start towards the top and just kind of work our way across. Once you've got it released, we'll need to disconnect the electrical connector behind it. Pull out on the lock tab, and then disconnect your electrical connector. Now you can set your fascia aside. We'll now take our insulation off and set it aside. Now we'll remove the bumper beam by removing the three nuts located on each side using a 15 millimeter socket or wrench. We'll then take our bumper beam off and set it aside. Then put your hitch on right over the studs where your bumper beam came off. Put your bumper beam back on. Then reinstall the six nuts that you removed. That'll hold your bumper beam and hitch in place. Then tighten and torque your hardware to the specifications in your instructions. Then we're gonna put our insulation back. Just kind of stuff that back into place. We'll now need to trim out the bottom area on our fascia to make room for our hitch. Gone ahead and marked that out. So we're just gonna trim with a pair of tin snips up along that area. We can then go back with the utility knife and clean that up. Then shave off a little bit of the raised area here with the utility knife. This is just gonna help make sure we have the best clearance possible. 
Now you can reinstall your fascia, make sure you plug your electrical connector back in, then make sure you pop all of your panels back into place on both sides. Then reinstall all of your bolts in reverse order. We'll now put our taillight assemblies back in, plug the connector in, push them back into place, then reinstall both the torque screws. Put your caps back on, and do it with both taillights. And with everything back together, you're ready to hook up your favorite accessories and hit the road. And that completes our installation of Draw Tights Class 1 1 1⁄4 inch trailer hitch on our 2017 Chevrolet Cruze.